Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today we're going to build our very first Power Virtual Agent no-code bot. Now, in the previous videos, we created a Power App for Kyle's joinery where we can store jobs into a SharePoint list through the app. Um, and we're gonna still touch on that data with the Power Virtual Agent. So for the current situation for Power Virtual Agent, we're gonna build a bot, which we would like to put on our website. And whenever a new user comes to the website, they can, they can search what services we provide as a joinery when they type that into the bot that will come to the sharepoint list this will fetch the data from the sharepoint list of the job types which are entered and then this will send this back to the user onto the website so if you think of it as a, an active situation we've got our joiners out on site doing new jobs and saving their jobs and then also from our website we can get a live snapshot of these jobs from the power virtual agent bot okay so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is go to powervirtualagents.microsoft.com and you will see this page here. So we'll start from free. And to get started, you'll need to put in your work email address. Select sign up. Yep, you're using this account. We're already signed in, Let's sign in. So you can check this box or leave it unchecked if you would like to see, receive information, but select create. Okay, so first things first, you want to choose the country or region that you are in, and then you can select get started. So the next screen that pops up is create a new bot. So what you want to do is give your bot a name. So for our bot, we'll put Kyle's joinery select the language want it to be english and then we want to select the environment now this is very important for the environment that you select because when we go to use power automate to fetch the data from the list we want it to be in the same environment that our power automate will run so this is obviously important which environment you select once you've filled in all your fields click create and it will create your bot Okay, so here's the next screen, which you can obviously take an exploration or explore the documents. I recommend to do that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a topic. So you can click go to topics here, or you can click topics along the left. And then what we will click is a new topic up here. So for this topic, this will be our services. So the services that we provide as a joinery. Um, in this trigger phrases field, this is what the user will type into our bot for us to recognize that this is what they're after. So in here, we we need to predict what we want the user will say. So it, it can be, what services do you offer? Um, what are your services? And then we can leave it for that for now. Um, so next, once we've got our phrases ready, you can click go to authoring canvas. Okay, so this will take us to this power automate looking display screen. So this is the process that your bot will go through. This is the cycle that will go through from when this trigger is actioned. Okay, so what we want to add first is ask a question. So whenever this is mentioned, our bot will then ask a question because then we can collect a variable. So in our question here, we want to say, would you like to see a list of our services? And this can be multiple choice options. So one of the options for the user is, yes, I would like to see your services. And then we can add another option here, which can be, no, I do not wish to see your services. And then the variable that we'll save the response in is called Okay, so now you can see that we have branched because we can have a, the user can have a click yes or it can click no. So what we want to do is when they select yes, they do want to see the list of our services. We want to start a Power Automate flow to go to that SharePoint list, grab all of the job types that are currently in that list, and then bring it back and display it to the user on the screen. So next, what we want to add is a call to action. 
and then we want to create a flow. This will open a new window and take you to Power Automate. Okay, so now you can see our Power Automate screen and you can see that this will be the activator from Power Virtual Agents and then we need to return a value back to Power Virtual Agent. Now, we need to have an input here. For our situation, we don't need an input because we know that we just need to collect the data from the SharePoint list, but we need to put an input here anyway. So we'll just put a text input for now and keep that as please into your input. Next, we need to initialize a variable. So unfortunately with the capabilities of this at the moment, we can only return text, yes, no field or a number. So we can't return an array with all the items from the list. Um, so again, for this example, we will have to put all those array items into a string. So the string is returned back to the bot. And um, to do that, we need to initialize a variable. And we will call that services. And then we want this to be a string. And you can leave the value blank. So next thing what we want to do, we want to get the items from the SharePoint list. So we'll do get items. And the SharePoint list was from the dev site. And it was Kyle's joinery. So next, what we want to do is once we've gotten all the items from that list, we want to loop through every item and get the job type from that item and then attach that to the variable. So what we then need to add here is an apply to each. From the various steps, we want to get the value list of items. And then in the apply to each, when it loops through each item in that list, we want to append to the string, append to string variable. We'll select the services variable, which we created earlier. And then all we want to do is we just want to add the job type from that record. Put a comma and a space. So as it builds and adds, it will have a comma and a space between each one. Okay, so I just want to go back to the SharePoint list to show you what's actually happening within this apply to each. So as the apply to each loops through each of the rows in this list, we are getting the job type and we are appending it to the string. So what will be retained is all of the values in this field here. So that will loop through them. And then finally, we just want to return the string variable back to Power Virtual Agent. So I'll click that here. Click text in the text. And in the value, we want to retain this services variable. Okay, so if you can save that. And let's go back to our bot to test it out. Okay, so we want to add the step back in now that we've created our Power Automate flow. So if you just click plus again, call to action. And then there you can see our Power Virtual Agents flow. So if you just select that, and then here we go. So there's the input variable that'll start. So we'll just put user answer to service. So that passes a variable to trigger the flow. And then what is retained is services here. So next, now we have our services in a variable. We just want to send a message back to the user to say, okay, the services we offer are and then we can insert that variable services here. And that's it, now it's ready to go. So if we just save our bot, and we can test on the left here. So I'll just click reset just to pull in the latest. First, we want to ask a question relating to our services. So I will ask, what are your services? Uh, okay, and now the bot has said, would you like to see the list of our services? So now you can see it's gone to the next step. So I will reply, yes, I would like to see the list of services. That will then trigger the flow. Okay, and there you can see, so now the bot has replied, the services are, and then there you can see our string of all the job types that we do from the SharePoint list. 
Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to publish our application. So if you select publish along the left here, and then you can click publish, and then publish the content. Now, once your bot has been published, there are a number of channels that you can actually deploy your bot to. You can see them by selecting go to channels here. And this then gives you an example of the different channels that you can deploy your bot to. So as you can see, you can do it to Facebook. Uh, we are going to deploy it to our custom website. That can be done for a later video. Um, and, and there you have it. So there it's done. So as you can see, we've built a power virtual agent bot. It takes questions from the user. It goes into a SharePoint list and fetches the data, puts that data into a string, and then it returns that data to the user. Um, I hope this series has brought you some value. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And if there are any questions, just please add them to the comments and we'll get back to you. Thank you for listening and take care.